Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another one today. This is Ben LaPointe here and today I'm going to tell you my top three balls so far of 2024. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, everybody, like I said in the intro, I'm doing the top three balls that I believe have come out so far for Storm Products, uh, Rotor Grip, 900 Global, in 2024. So that's everywhere from January to now, basically. Um, this was a really tough list to make. There's a lot of good balls that have come out, uh, but these three balls that uh, I'm about to show you, um, I believe, are my favorites. Uh, I believe bring the most value to the table in terms of overall um Overall bowling, basically. Uh, let's get right into it with uh, number three, the road. Alrighty, so like I said, number three, the road. Uh, I haven't drilled a high road in probably three or four years. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of what I did in that high road. Uh, I drilled back then in the road here. I, I find they're both very clean for me. Uh, the one thing I'm noticing the difference in is the cover. Um, the REX cover just makes it want to go a little bit more down lane, whereas the high road for me was just a little earlier, a little more round. I feel like I have more versatility with this. I can get my hand behind it and I can really control the front part of the lane. Uh, I can get left, really get my hand around it, and that REX cover just wants to make it go through the pins. So uh, I'm going to show you a couple shots with that and then we'll get into the number two uh, spot in the bag. Hey, nowadays the pain follow me. Trauma privately. I don't want to be a burden. I handle things defiantly. Spent a decade searching for a higher power God in me. Figured out that faith is not a player that is inside of me. Act with execution. What's the plan with zero action? Faced with bad habits. Knowing it's a magnet to my imbalance. I'm somewhere between confidence and arrogance. The middle ground is treacherous. I work on getting out of it. Pops is looking down. I feel them every time the sun shines. Back to being unsigned. I only got my bloodline. With me going forward, smoking cookies. We heard you taking sides, we pulled up on them, they was gunshot 2 p.m. in Rome, we at the chapel eating sun-dried tomatoes and a plum wine Like it like a movie, y'all don't know how long the run time Hope it's an extended cut, but when I die, I load my consciousness onto a thumb drive And I'm loaded to the masses when I pass, all my senses holographic, life's as real as you imagine okay. My Jewish girl was tight, cause I ain't link on the Sabbath, but it's Friday Alrighty, there was a couple shots with the road. As you can see, it's nice and clean. Uh, it does want to control the mid lane uh, more than like a Ruby or a Fate or Revenant, something like that. A little bit of a lower end ball. It does want to read the mid lane just a little bit more. But that already gets covered, like I said uh, a few minutes ago. It just really wants to pop down lane, and that's what I'm really liking out of this ball. It's just so versatile. Um, unfortunately, like I, I don't know if they'll ever get rid of the high road. I hope not, but. If they do, if that's something they do decide to do, at least they have the road. That's my opinion. The road's a very good ball. I don't know if it directly replaces the high road, but with the uh, heavy volume of oil you see out there nowadays, I don't think it's a bad thing that this ball hooks hooks more. There is lower lower end balls below this ball. So, anyways, uh, let's get into the second best ball that I believe has come out by SPI this year, uh, the Rotor Grip Optimum Idol. All right, Rotor Grip Optimum Idol. To me, this is one of the best balls that Storm's ever come out with, um, which is wild. Uh, obviously, we've had a lot of great balls come out. The original Idol, the Alpha Crux, to name a few. Um, I think this is really, 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 really up there. Um, I think it's very much different than the original Idol. It's still got that nice mid lane read, but for me, I find this one just a little bit cleaner, a little bit more down lane. Um, it's actually more my 3 4 spot in my bag right now when it comes to ball motion wise, because for me, the tour dynamics just rolls real early. Um, I'm able to control the fronts a lot better and really just kind of blend it off the end of the pattern. So uh, for me, I can get in a little bit deeper and, and watch this one fly. And I think that's what everybody's looking for. So uh, I'm going to throw, uh, I'm going to mix in a few shots with the Optima Mile. And then uh, we'll get right into the number one best ball, in my opinion, by Storm Rotor Grip and 900 Global. And I got a few robins, I need a basket. Playing traffic, if you want to play the faction. We don't act, we get active, stacking cash and dodge attacks. My father was a Catholic, never taught me how to practice. But with music, I'm a Baptist. Chris and all these tracks, I bless these raps with. Standing in the middle of the miles. Yeah, baby, both sides, caving on the drive. Standing on me, praying to my pops and the guys. God, please tell me how can you spare me for one sin? Just three. We make history. 
uh, so as you can see there, just the couple shots that I showed, um, a lot of mid lane read. Uh, it still really wants to go down lane though, which is exactly what I'm looking for out of the Optimum Idol. Um, it's a really benchmark ball. Like it, it's, it's probably on the stronger end as opposed to an IQ Tour, a little cleaner, a little weaker overall. But it's right, it's like the first ball out of the bag. If you don't know a pattern you're bowling on, chances are you're bringing out an Optimum Idol if it's not an IQ Tour or a Phase 2 or something like that. So. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into what I believe is the number one ball that's come out by Storm Rotogrip Nightheart Global this year, which is the Rotogrip Attention Star. Alrighty, best ball that Storm Rotogrip Nightheart Global has come out with this year. Uh, in my opinion, the Rotogrip Attention Star. In my opinion, if you don't have one of these, then you should probably go get one. Uh, I was a really, really, really big fan of the Virtual Energy Blackout that came out last fall. And I still am. I still carry it around in my bag. But I found there was a little bit of a, a gap there. Um, I, f I carry both of them in my bag at the same time. Uh, I really like the Magic Gem at the top of my bag. Um, I never really threw the Eternity, but I feel like I kind of needed that reaction in my bag. Uh, got the Blackout. Really good ball, but it's for for me. It's later in the block, right? Like I got to get left and I got to let it fly. This kind of just bri bridges that. Like if if the fronts are hooking a whole lot, and I can't really throw like an optimal mile or a phase two or an exponent or something like that, this bridges that gap between the magic gem or the harsh reality and the uh, virtual energy blackout. For me, it's just a little bit earlier rolling and it's a little bit more skid flip than the blackout. The blackout's real smooth and just flies off the end of the pattern. So I think the Attention Star is probably the best ball of 2024 so far. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I wanna know what everybody's opinion is there, all brands. Uh, for me, Attention Star, I don't go anywhere without it. I throw it in League when I'm not throwing the Ruby, of course. Uh, I throw it in League, I throw it in tournaments, I throw it everywhere and I can't see it coming out of my bag for a really long time. I haven't seen this reaction before for myself, and chances are I'm probably gonna drill a few more of them. So if you don't have a Rotor Grip Attention Star, you should probably go get one as long uh, as well as the Optimal Mile, the Road, Storm, Rotor Grip, Nightheart Global. They've been dropping so many great balls lately. Uh, you gotta get them, you gotta get them. If you don't have them in your bag, what are you doing? Uh, let's throw a few shots with the Rotor Grip Attention Star here, and then we'll come back and we'll wrap up the video. Alrighty guys, there you have it. Uh, just to do a little bit of a recap of what I did in this video, uh, I just wanted to show you guys what I believe to be the top three balls that have come out in the SBI family this year. Uh, going back with number three, the road. Really great ball. I think it's going to be useful in a lot of different conditions. Moving to the number two, the Rotor Grip Optimum Mile. Really great benchmark ball. I can't see myself going many places without it. As long as uh, it's in my bag, chances are I'm probably going to be fine on most. 39 foot, 38 foot, 42 foot, all the way up to the, high, the highest volume patterns, the lowest volume patterns. I think it's a great ball right in the middle of the bag. Um, and then number one, the best ball I believe has come out this year, the Rotor Grip Attention Star. Guys, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.